Hello class, my name is Emeka and we're going to be having a quick ride on our English language class for today. In linguistics, there is a term we refer to as homonyms and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So what are homonyms? Homonyms in simple terms are two words that are spelled the same and sound the same but have different meanings. I hope you get that. So you probably would have come across words that are pronounced the same and spelled the same but have different meanings. And you probably would have come across words that are pronounced the same, spelled differently and also have different meanings. This category of words are what we refer to as homonyms in the English language. So let's have a quick look at some pair of words that have similar sounds, that is similar pronunciations. The first here is eight, as in A-T-E, and eight, as in E-I-G-H-T. You would notice that both words have the same pronunciation, that is the sound alike, but they have different spellings and different meanings. So that is a typical example of what we refer to as homonyms. Other words that fall under this category are bear and bear, bee and bee, bear, beat and beat, boy and boy, brick and break, sell and sell, scent and scent, chili and chili. You can also make up your list of homonyms. That will be fun to do. So let's look at homonyms in sentences. Now we have the word bear. We saw a bear in the woods. The cold was more than he could bear. The underlined words sound alike. With same spellings, but they have different meanings. So you've noticed that. The other word is left and left. They left the coin on the beach. Turn left when you get to the lemonade stand. So you could see another example of words with same spelling, same pronunciation, but different applications. Now you understand what we call homonyms. So here's a quick exercise for you to take on. You have to complete each of the following sentences with the proper words selected from the bracket. So on the right side, you have two words in the bracket. You have to pick one of those words and fit it in the dash. Make sure you're fitting the correct word. See you in the next class.